welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, June the 26th, 2019, and this is episode 3057. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to the Humpback Day edition of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, The Blessed Hope. Stay tuned. So every morning when I sit on the edge of my bed and pray, the first thing that I say is, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The second thing that I say is be honored and glorified in my life today for Jesus' sake. There are a number of other things that I enjoy praying about in the morning as I start my day. One of them is just a list of general things to be thankful for and to be reminding myself to be grateful for. Like, thank you, Lord, for your love, grace, mercy, forgiveness, the cross, your son, your spirit, the empty tomb. And then the last one is always, and the blessed hope. What is the blessed hope? Well, the blessed hope is the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Paul, writing in 1 Thessalonians, describes this event as the trump of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. There's something about acknowledging, embracing every day that this could be the day that Jesus comes back to receive his own. In the book of Titus, chapter 2, and I don't often read an entire chapter, it's only 15 verses, but I'm going to read it to you today because it is full of not only this truth, but some great advice that Paul writes to Titus that can help you have a better focus for the day. And then it's going to end up with the blessed hope. Are you ready? But speak the things which become sound doctrine. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, and patience. The aged women also, likewise, that they may be in behavior as becomes holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God may be not blasphemed. Young men also exhort to be sober-minded in all things, showing themselves a pattern of good works and doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Exhort servants to be obedient to their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior in all things. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Looking looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise you. Are you looking 
for that blessed hope today? Are you looking for that glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ? I like what somebody said one time. He said, I'm not looking for the undertaker. I'm looking for the upper taker. Father, this could be the day. It really, really could be the day. I pray that you would find us faithful as Paul admonished young Titus. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great Wednesday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.